Hi guys, so um, Saturday afternoon now, just before 1 pm, I'm bidding online here, uh, easy live on an auction. Getting ready to bid. I'm ahead. So I won that one, forty pound. Bidding on some more and um, pocket knives mainly but um, so this is easy life um, I'm not going to bid on them I'm going to bid on this one next which is um, states it's a large amber bead 315 grams in weight and, uh, and a glass bead necklace that's coming up in a moment and further down there's some names so i'm not really um okay 14 90, 50, sorry, 60, 60. very knowledgeable about this type of uh, item but i do watch quite a bit online so we'll see how it goes so the thing is i haven't had any condition reports i haven't had any extra photographs or anything like that so we'll see how this goes um, I'm not bidding on this one, but just to give you an, another look. These items that take maybe a week or two to be delivered. Let's see. It's going up and I can't bid. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. No, I'm not. I'm not bidding anymore because I haven't I haven't had any any feedback from the auction house. I don't even know if they're definitely amber. This auction house seems um he's quite a character. So then I'm looking at some of these costume brooches. Yeah, not my, not my thing, but if you can get them for the lower estimate of twenty five pound, which I'm showing you there, then you know they've got to sell. Got to be a profit in them somewhere. You might find a real gem, and amongst them. And then I'm looking down here. Antique Continental Pistol, 150 to 200 pound. I've had those in the past. They won't make anything like that, I wouldn't have thought. And I'm going to be bidding on these pocket knives here. These are novelty um, pen knives, which I quite like. I sell them on Etsy. A group of pens here. I don't think there's anything outstanding in there, but I don't know what this item is here. But take it forty pounds. It's worth a it's worth a bid. And then a couple more pocket knives. I've had these ones before. Let's see if we can get some bidding going here. Where are we up to? One, one, three, nine, come up. Silver charm bracelets. They're quite nice. Ten, 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 
So I bought a few items today. Um, not of any great value at all. I was really disappointed and I am more sore at that uh, time of flea market. I bought this little item. It's a silver inlay on metal and I, I think it's a, a letter opener. I'm not sure. I bought these two of these for a pound, so 50 pence each. They're quite nice. Um, quite a bit detail in them. Indian brass um, embossed. Some guards on them. I bought this, which will go into my collection of oddities, curios. It's broke there, but. Not sure what it is. Could be amber. I don't know. It's heavy. So what I'll do is I'll stick a hot pin into here. See if it gives off any um, acrid smell or sweet smell. Which potentially could be amber. I bought this uh, clock key for a one pound. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of clocks and I need clock keys. Okay, let's have a look. That's a nice, that one's up now. It's at £48. Nine carat Art Nouveau Sapphire and Seed Pearl Pendant. £48. I suppose it's worth it. Let's have a look at this one. Lapis Lazuli. Um, Dutch Deltware Silver. This might be a little work better. That's quite nice, isn't it? Filigree work with little um, semi precious stones. So I'll tell you a little bit about this auction anyway. So I'm on Easy Live, and what you can do there, you can pay. Um, a one-off payment at three pound and then you don't have any percentages on top of your bids that you win or you can pay not pay that register for free and pay three percent extra on every item that you win so <coughs> excuse me i paid the three pound um this is a bakelite amber that's up now Ten pound. What you need to look for is the cherry amber, <coughs> big light cherry amber. It's really sought after at the moment, and it's going very, very well online. I had a few older pieces and made some really good money with it. Before I knew what it was, I had some guys after it with large amounts, so I did some quick research, realised what it was, and then got back to those guys with uh, the money I wanted and they paid up cherry amber you know, look out for it guys do a bit of research on it antique continental pistol 150 to 200 pound I've had those in the past they won't make anything like that I wouldn't have thought and I'm going to be bidding on these pocket knives here these are novelty um, pen knives which I quite like I sell them on Etsy a group of pens here don't think there's anything outstanding in there but I don't know what this item is here but take your £40 it's worth, a, it's worth a bid and then a couple more pocket knives had these ones before. <sighs> Let's see if we can get some bidding going here. Where are we up to? One, one, three, 
name come up. Salvatore bracelets. Quite nice. So I bought a few items today. Um, not of any great value at all. I was really disappointed, and I am more sore at that uh, time of flea market. I bought this little item. It's a uh, silver inlay on metal and I, I think it's a, a letter opener I'm not sure I bought these two of these for a pound so 50 pence each are quite nice um, quite a bit detail in them Indian brass um, embossed some guards on them I bought this which will go into my collection of oddities, curios. It's broke there, but not sure what it is. Could be amber. I don't know. It's heavy. So what I'll do is I'll stick a hot pin into here. See if it gives off any um acrid smell or sweet smell, which potentially could be amber. I bought this uh, clock key. For a one pound, um, yeah, I've got a lot of clocks and I need clock keys. Okay, let's have a look. That's a nice. That one's up now. It's at forty-eight pound. Nine carat art nouveau sapphire and seed pearl pendant. Forty-eight pounds. I suppose it's worth it. Some of this one, Lapis Lazuli, um, Dutch Deltware Silver. This might be a little work better. That's quite nice, isn't it? Filigree work with little um, semi precious stones. So I'll tell you a little bit about this auction anyway. So I'm on Easy Live, and what you can do there, you can pay um, a one-off payment of three pound, and then you don't have any percentages on top of your bids that you win. Or you can pay not pay that, register for free, and pay three percent extra on every item that you win. So. <coughs> Excuse me, I paid the three pound. Um, this is a bakelite amber that's up now. Ten pound. What you need to look for is the cherry amber. <coughs> bakelite cherry amber. It's really sought after at the moment. And it's going very, very well online. I had a few older pieces and made some really good money with it. Before I knew what it was, I had some guys after it with large amounts, so I did some quick research, realised what it was, and then got back to those guys with uh, the money I wanted, and they paid up. Cherry Amber, you know, look out for it, guys. Do a bit of research on it. There it is. Looks like that's over a bit stretching at uh, 15, 15, 18. 40. Well, it's a 38 now. I'm ahead at 45 pound. You're in at 45. 50. Nah, I'm not bidding on 50. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, but he's up. Right, get 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. once. 
I'm ahead at 45 pound. You're in a, you're in a 45 pound. 50. Yeah. I'm not getting on 50. Coins. I know nothing about really coins other than the ones I have in my pocket. I'm going to be bidding on the next lot. Um, which is these three novelty small pen knives, pocket knives, and then there's a couple of others coming up that I'm going to be bid on. So I'm bidding on these now. Yeah, not to Carl Pendarf, because they're two fucking knives. Okay, now, I think one of those is uh, Martin Rosso's. Is that the one? Yeah, Martin Rosso, and the one that's it. Right, so rather good. Right, we'll start this in here. 15. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 18, won that. Right now, the British War Medal, together with Pips, and the Sun Medal, is more than the last. Next okay, one I'm going to be bidding on is this. These little sewing um, scissors in the form of a bird, a crane, or a type of bird, a stork. Yes. But I like these novelty. Very small. Here we go. Right, number one seven six. Small pocket knives. <coughs> miniature ribbon thread threaded together with the miniature pen knife and two others. And we'll stop this in here then I've got fifteen pounds. Fifteen pounds, fifteen, 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 fifteen. I'm ahead at eighteen again. Eighteen, 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 eighteen. Eighteen pound, eighteen pound, eighteen pound. Eighteen pound up to eighteen pound once, twice, sorry. Yeah, phone that one. That's good. And this one I was looking before. Mm -hmm. one, seven, seven. It's a cigarette case. Compact, compact, compact and a lighter. Uh, not really good for this, so I'm five, not going to bid on that. The next one. Collection of vintage. Nay. Um, sorry. Pens and dip pens, etc. It's okay, it's, it seems like quite a little bit of I can get that for mid estimate 30 or 40. 20, yeah, I'd bid. 25, 30, I'm out bid. 40, 45, 50. I bid 50, I'm out bid, so that's, I'll give up on that. This next one I'm going to bid on. Got two mother of pearl and silver beautiful hallmarks on this one and these are ladies fruit knives this is nice as well possibly the mauritania or that type right, of right number seven nine silver plenty fruit knives 